It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Badger Ales and it's a bottle of their Wicked Wyvern IPA coming in at 5% ABV. Some kind of strange dragon on there. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. I picked this up in Morrison's. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. I picked this up in Morrison's as part of their beer festival. So it's not always available in Morrison's. So maybe best to check Badger's website if you want to get hold of this beer. So it's a two finger white head. It's amber in colour. Yeah, definitely an amber coloured beer. Good levels of carbonation. I'm going to reserve judgment. I was, going to, I was going to say something straight away, but then I thought, nah, reserve judgment. Just just try the beer first before saying anything. Um, aroma, well, so it's very clear. Let's get the aroma. Blimey. Uh, okay, so I'm the only... I can only describe this as a British IPA. I cannot describe this as an American IPA. It doesn't have to be. It didn't all have to be American IPA. Um, the Brits did make IPA hundreds of years ago. But it's Fuggles and... a traditional British hop and it's really quite coppery. What I was going to say, I'm going to say it anyway now because I've got the aroma, is if this was going to be some kind of New World IPA, then the malts are too dark. You're going to get too much of the malt coming through in terms of the flavour. Um, when you produce, a, say, a New World IPA, what you're looking to do is you're looking to use light malts just to, just to let the hop shine. It's harder to let the hop shine if you use darker malts because you're getting a lot of flavour from the darker malts. Let's, let's dive into this. Oh, blimey. Oh, do you know, it really annoys me. Really annoys me. That is just... That's one of the worst beers I've ever reviewed on the channel. One of the worst beers. It's sweet, it's sickly. Then you've got this like, think of the, the sweetness and then the sickliness of the, just the tartness. There's a real sweetness and a tartness. And then there's just this cloining, drying bitterness that just, just atrocious, atrocious. I'm going to go on a rant. I didn't go into this beer review looking to go into a rant. Um, <sighs> Badger Ales are one of the most frustrating breweries. And this is, this is regional brewing in general in the UK. In the UK, we have a very tidy, a very... <sighs> Let me pour the rest of this out. We are known throughout the world as one of the great brewing nations in history. Real Ales, UK, brewing beer, London, it all, it, it, we've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of years of brewing tradition in this country. The problem we have in 2019, and for the last 20, 30 years, if I'm completely honest, is these regional breweries, all they care about are their lovely little pubs and selling food. They couldn't give a monkeys about the beer they're pushing through the door, the beer they're trying to sell. This is a perfect example of that. This is just... Badger 
I know this from speaking to head brewers around the country, Badger have set their stall out to buy cottagey, lovely old pubs, destination pubs, places where, you know, you, you, you may drive down a canal and, and find a pub on the riverbank and it's a glorious day and you have a meal and that type of thing. I know one of the Badger pubs in Salisbury, it's called the New Inn. And that's, uh, it's like one of the oldest buildings in Salisbury. Um, it's a destination pub, all of the tourists go there. Of course, they sell an awful lot of meals to an awful lot of people. And the beer's second best. The beer's just, it's not even, I, I reckon the beer is not even 5% when they have a meeting with the top, top knobs in, in, in the, in the, Brewery, I bet they all get together. How's it going this week? Um, I, I bet beer gets a five percent, five percent of their kind of marketing and, and and their business meetings. I reckon it's probably property estates. They talk about how their properties are doing, how their pubs are doing, fifty percent, and then probably forty five poo, forty five percent. How are their pubs doing? And then at the very end, they may go five percent. Quick conversation about the beer. This is a shocking, 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 shocking example of a beer and Badger Ales should be really ashamed. They should be really ashamed of this. I still love the Badger beers years ago. Uh, Golden Glory when it was in brown glass. Um, Tanglefoot used to be, I'm sure it's Tanglefoot the other one, that was that, that used to be okay. Um, what was the other one? I can't even remember. But I don't know, it's been the last, the last few beers I've had from Badger have been, they've just been, this is, this is a shocking, shocking example of a beer. Sweet, malty, cloyny, awful, awful bitterness, just this rancid, Bitter for the sake of being bitter. And that's that's British hops. That's over hopping with British hops, that is. That's the only explanation I can give. Is that they shoved a ton of Bramling Cross or Fuggles in, into the boil, and it's just produced this awful astringent bitterness. The brewer who brewed this, honestly, the guy who came up with this recipe, I'd have him out the... I can't, I just can't, I just can't. I don't want to see anybody lose their jobs here, but, but this is just shocking, absolutely shocking. And the worst thing about the whole thing is, the worst thing about this whole situation is that people who visit the UK, they tend to go to these nice pubs and they, and they tend to go, oh, I'll have a pint of real ale. I've heard all about this real ale. I'm going to try a pint of real ale. And they try it and they go, I'll go back to the lager. Thank you very much. I'll go back to the lager. And that is, that is the most frustrating thing. I, I wish companies like Cloudwater, Verdant's, I wish they had all of these old pubs. I wish they had that kind of financial, established old school financial kind of thing. I wish they had that. And I wish they were pumping amazing beers into these, into these old cottage type, type pubs. But it's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. You're more likely to see a Badger or someone like that buy Cloudwater or, or, or Verdant. And that would be, you know, everybody in the craft beer industry would be doing this then, wouldn't they? You know, the beer's going to be Badgerized. Let's see, let's see what they, they have come up. Oh my goodness me, they're calling it a West Coast style IPA. Ah, here we go. Um, said to be as large as a castle and more ferocious than the name suggests, the Wicked Wyvern is the legendary two-legged bat-winged beast with an arrow-like barb on its tail. Its frightening presence has stalked Dorset for centuries. Well, they want to go and visit the, the head brewer, didn't they? Um, maybe in the middle of the night. Um, this refreshing West Coast style IPA is brewed with Amarillo, Cascade and Mosaic hops which deliver a citrus aroma of zesty grapefruit, a bitter hop character and a dry hoppy finish. Just... 
just shocking. Absolutely shocking. Rating. There's a bit of diacetol in there as well. Two out of ten. Two out of ten from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.